if by some terrible, terrible concatenation of circumstances, both <coughs> my co-pilot and I on this flight were suddenly taken ill, how would you land this plane? Can't they just land themselves on an instrument's I, landing? Can't you? I'd stop reading the Kindle on the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a wise yeah. start, yes. Don't you, um, don't you radio... The, there's the, the co-pilot slumped, normally, yes. in these situations. Yes, yeah, someone talks you in. And they, somebody talks, talks you in? That's is what it? happens in the movies, definitely, isn't yes. it? Like Robert Duval probably would be good. Yes. I, that's who I'd ring. <laughs> Well, Lloyd Bridges, in the case of Airplane, the Perfect movie. Perfect choice. Yeah. Yes. Um, Presumably there are legal problems with someone talking you down, though, because you could then subsequently sue if it was interpreted by your relatives that you were given bad advice. <laughs> so probably, these days, the air traffic control would refuse to give advice. And would say, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, right. we're, not, we're not covered for my <laughs> saying... <laughs> So you'd have to sign a waiver and sort of text it to them, and then they would then <laughs> yeah. insurance would cover you to be talked it down. Is, it is a minefield. Extraordinarily, and, and happily, it has never occurred in commercial airline travel history that someone has been, as it were, oh, gosh, can anyone fly this plane because right. the pilot and co-pilot are ill or dead. It's never actually happened, but it would be fraught with difficulty. They have tried various simulations. For example, those with American civil... Uh, private pilot licenses in America who can fly light planes yeah. were invited onto simulators of big jets yeah. and uh, one of them couldn't even operate the seat that moved him <laughs> towards the control. Another one turned the radio off. Another <laughs> one turned off the autopilot and instantly crashed the plane. <laughs> so the, the fact is it's incredibly difficult. Stephen, am I allowed to say that in, in, in your uniform how incredibly unlike a pilot you look? <laughs> Um, so what do I look like instead? Be, uh, be, be brutal, be frank. You, no, I think I think you'd be the uh, what they, the the chap who calls himself the bursar, who comes around. He's got a big leather wallet and takes money for duty free. Yeah, calls himself the bursar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the bursar? Yes, I think he does, yeah. Or the, the, bursar, bursar. the bursar. The bursar is like the one that does the money for a... The public for a school. school. Yeah. Yes, yeah. What, a very, oh, okay. what kind of planes are you flying on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the bursar will be uh, yeah, yeah. collecting yeah. money yeah. for the yeah. end yeah. of term jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> Here on a charterhouse air. Yeah. <laughs> the bursar with the trolley and then with the drinks, the groundsman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the fact is it's fraught with difficulty. The you first problem it. you would have you is simply it. getting into the cockpit, because since 9-11, of course, yeah. cockpits are locked. And if the pilot and the co-pilot were truly too ill to be able to fly, they may well be too ill even to let you in mm. to the cockpit. But, uh, Do they um, have a secret knock? <laughs> it's a lovely the, when, the, when, they, when, when they go and give them their lunch, though, surely I they suppose, have to get in. Yes. So they have, must have a coded knock or something, like, it's, it's me. <laughs> 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 I've got your lunch. <laughs> Something like that. And they go, oh, it must be the lunch. It must be, yeah. <laughs> it must be to do with the lunch. The lunch is. Lunch now, why is. do I say lunch is? Ah, because I... there's more than one. But why is there more? <laughs> <laughs> you are... <laughs> <laughs> you are accruing points at a fantastic oh, rate. Right, I tell you what. <laughs> yes, there are more than one. But why would there be more than one lunch? Why they, would have they, to, I mean... they have to eat different meals. Yes, That's the pilot and the co-pilot must eat different meals. Oh, in case one of them gets it, the botulism. It, exactly, so that if one is by accident poisoned or whatever. Oh, uh, and in the case of extra long-haul flights, there are three pilots, not two. So you can't get into the cockpit. It's yeah. very, very dangerous. never been done. Yeah, so and if it was on autopilot, uh, you'd be able, obviously, to fly level and it would continue. But once you got into the landing situation, yes, the, the kind of film scenario would take over, whereby you would be told how to operate the flaps and at what speed. But there are so many variables in terms of yes. glide path and vertical and horizontal axes and so on. This is, it really is extraordinarily difficult. Is there is no, an auto land system. There's no way of flying it remotely, then, from the ground. <laughs> like, with just somebody with a Wii or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one day. Someone comes in the room. <laughs> what? Why? Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> <Yeah>. It's... <laughs> it's a horrifying thought. But fortunately, as I say, it never has yet happened in, in major oh. commercial air travel.